Good afternoon, this is Jim Lakey with news and announcements for St. John and Maxville, Kansas on Cable Channel 3 and on sandylandcenter.org on our website. Today is Wednesday, the 12th of November. A lot of people were getting married yesterday because it's 11, 12, 13. <coughs> I guess that's as good a reason to get married as I can think of. Uh, anyway, today uh, the weather is uh, sunny, <coughs> 55 degrees the high, 35, 33 degrees for the low. Thursday is showers with a 30% chance of showers. 54 the high and 31 the low. Friday, partly cloudy, 57 the high, 38 the low. And then Saturday and Sunday, partly cloudy both days. <coughs> 57 the high, 38 the low for Saturday with a 20% chance of rain, which means we'll probably be able to see it go by but not see much rain. Then on uh, Sunday, partly cloudy, 65 the high, 34 the low. Monday, partly sunny at last, uh, 39 the high and 25 the low. It's interesting that the day it gets sunny, it's colder. <coughs> well, happy birthday today to Amanda McCandless. Happy anniversary to Bill and Laurie Boyle. And uh, tomorrow, happy birthday to Ron Culbert. The Recreation Commission has a trip. Uh, in fact, they were having a trip yesterday. Uh, they have a trip today to go to the Barton County, uh, the Barton College uh, Theater. And the Barton students are having a production of the magical Christmas of Mistletoe, Kansas. So uh, they're going to leave at 4.30 and have a meal at 5 to 6.30 at Easy Street, and then go to the theater. Uh, $22 is the cost for the transportation, the meal, and the theater, and uh, that's put on. It's Thursday, November 21st, <coughs> and the Biden students will uh, be doing that. Then uh, we have our, our menu, and uh, today at the Friendship Meal in St. John, they're having uh, herb baked chicken, cream peas, and potatoes with a fresh fruit salad and cookies and a choice at the cook cookie bar. <coughs> Thirsty is smothered steak and mashed potatoes, cheesy corn, a combination fresh vegetable salad, and the cook's choice pie. And on uh, Friday, beef stew, scalloped apples, uh, zesty broccoli salad with ice cream for uh, dessert. Then an uh, important event that's coming up at November 15, 16, and 17, the high school musical with guys and dolls. And so you want to save those days. Usually, uh, the uh, Friday and uh, Saturday performance is at 6.30 uh, in, the, in the evening, and the Sunday performance is at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So this would be a good thing for everybody to take. They, they always have great musicals here at the, uh, at the school in St. John. Now there's just one other announcement, and <clears throat> this is an old one, but you may have forgotten. Uh, it reminded me of this this morning because it was so cold. And that's that flu shots are available at the Stafford County Health Department for $20, and if you have insurance, generally they will take care of that. So call the uh, Stafford County Health Department to make an appointment at 549-3504. <clears throat> and that's all the, the news I have for you. I guess I should point out that yesterday and the day before were winter. Uh, and now we hope to go back to uh, fall weather. The word of the day is life 
is not a cup to be drained, but a measure to be filled. This is Jim Lakey, hoping you have a great Wednesday and a great week. Hello, this is Bradley Blue. I am at the EMS Services, and I am with Misty Blakesley, who is the director here. And I'm going to ask her a few questions about the service. So, what brought you to St. John? I was actually born and raised in St. John. Um, my family lives here. I lived here for 18 years and moved to Hutch and came back because I like small community. How long have you been in the EMS service? Uh, six years total. So. Um, do you like it so far? Yes, I love it. What's your favorite part about the job? Um, people, helping people in this community. I've known them since growing up and if I can help ease their mind and their time of need then that's pretty much the best part of the job. And what, like, what, did you, did you know you were going to do EMS growing up or? No, um, I actually went into law enforcement right out of high school. And if I would have given the, been given the option to go into EMS, I definitely would have at the time, but I, it wasn't available to me at the time that I knew it. And did you actually go into law enforcement? I did. How long were you there? One year. One year. And did you like that more? Or? Um, not necessarily. I mean, I, I enjoy all the aspects of law enforcement. I was a big CSI person. Mm -hmm. um, I think everybody likes those. Uh, murder mystery type movies, and I, I was really into that kind of stuff, CSI, but EMS is where my heart's at. Thank you. Mm -hmm. This has been Bradley Blue for the Shepherd Center News.